Ooh, what is up ladies and gents and welcome back to some XCOM and you guys have been awesome with it so thank you very much for everybody who's been checking it out <clears throat> I do apologize for that but thank you everybody who's been checking this out it's been absolutely awesome the, um, the amount of feedback I've been getting from you know people watching and stuff it's actually pretty awesome so let's just get right into it the way we should always do I just realized my pad is unplugged. forces in the area can get you into the site, Ooh. but you will need to make contact with their network first. Got this it. Only oh, what did I do? Commander, your leadership will be, will a be the beacon to our, to our people across, across the, the planet. Oh. I'm hoping it's a planet then. Okay, that gets us a supply and that gets scientists. I think, I think I'm in that section of the game right now where it's literally just sit and spam the stuff that is right in front of you and just wait for something to happen if, if you catch my drift assorted loot okay so I can either go for the six days for the scientist or the, <laughs> or the seven days for the assorted loot I'm gonna go the seven days for the assorted loot because it might get me some stuff like scopes or stocks or um, uh, laser sights uh, hey sweet someone's recovered oh <gasps> Ah, here we go. My favorite guys. We're all in this together, right? Ooh, Dr. Chad McDonald. Rendezvous with the Reapers. I'm expecting someone to just be like, what can you tell me about the Reapers? Let's do this. And I'm glad that person recovered as well. Who are you thinking with? Who are you thinking with? You are with Nicole Hudson. Not this person. So let's get you Nicole Hudson. There we are. Yeah, I think that works. Oh, she's a ranger as well. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, I just realised what... Ah, oh, I just realised what mission I'm on. Uh... Can you... No, you can't. Okay, so you just with the Grenadier anyway, that works. Can... I don't actually have anything, do I? And I don't... Oh, can I... I can build Can't items, but... Flashbang, medkit, and a smoke grenade. Combat. There's nothing... Yeah, okay. There's nothing really worth building at the minute. I do... I, I don't know if, how I feel about the... Um, what I did with the Grenadiers... I don't know if I... Because, mm, you know, that black and that red, it's a good combination. But I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if it works right. Hmm. Hmm. Anyway, let's go meet the Reapers and the Skirmishers. Two of the awesome people. I do like the Templars. The Templars are pretty decent. Um, the Reapers and Skirmishers have been at each other's throats for oh, years. So we're I, th I, I thought you said for a thousand years then. I was like, this haven't been going on for a thousand years. This is 20 years after the first one. Oh, do you, do you know what? This is my, this, this entire, the entire premise of XCOM, starting from the Bureau all the way up to this one, would make a great TV show. Or a pretty decent movie. It'd be better as a TV show because you'd have, you know, you could squeeze in small chunks of it episodically. Where if, as if you did it as a movie, it could really only be XCOM 1, you know. Well, in fact, no, you could do three movies. As we wait for this thing to bloody load, you could do, you know, movie 1, which is the Bureau. Uh, movie 2, which is XCOM 1. There we go. And movie 2, which is this game and they'd all be like you know sequenced in with each other and they'd all work because I, I only learned recently and i'm pretty sure i mentioned this in one of the previous episodes but the bureau is actually an XCOM game Ooh, a little bit of loading lag right now Oh, I just realized it probably would have been better to put a sniper on each team. Balls. Um, if you're wondering why it's probably... If, if none of you aren't um, familiar with XCOM, the reason it's a good thing to put a sniper on is because they have a secondary action of uh, firing a pistol. Let's just send the... Send, the send her as far as she can. Off you pop, Reaper. Off you pop, Deanna Troy. It's the voice of Deanna Troy. And our marksmen are unmatched by even oh, the best that's, XCOM I watched the bloody um, XCOM 1 playthrough, uh, not playthrough, but the entire thingies, um, X, the, the, all the cutscenes, and they're in it. 
those things are in it. That's really awesome how they kept that callback in it. But yeah, uh, here, so the sniper has this fire pistol thing, which doesn't take an action if you get a headshot. Which is awesome, because the people you fight in this area are lost. If you, if you can get a card that gives you something called um, Between the Eyes, basically every... I think it's every shot or every major shot or something is an instant kill. So you just fire with the pistol on the sniper, and you could be in a you could be in a row of like twenty of them surrounded. You, you ranger, and whatever, whoever, your entire team. If it was all snipers, one person could take out every single one of them if you landed every shot. That's a 75, that's a 73, I think. If she kills that, I don't think she gets revealed. Um, right, what's the fastest way through? It's actually heading further down the road. Okay. Let's head further down the road. Oh, it's recovered in an extra... Uh, there they are. I have no idea what they are, or how they got like this, but... Yeah. Fire away. Four damage, not bad. You did good. Ah, see, there it is. Headshot chaining. Uh, when an XCOM unit kills a lost unit with a standard attack, the unit receives an additional action point. That is why... So, so she can go into Overwatch, right? That's what you can do. If I could move him to a good position where he could see multiple people, which I might be able to, actually, if we move him here... Can you see multiple? No, you can only see the one. Even though the other one is right there. But yeah, no, the pistol does... Enemies down. Uh, see, like, I can now stick him into a pistol overwatch, which is pretty cool. Um, the pistol, down. I think, does three damage at a minimum. And... That's probably the best. So at the so minute, they've time. all really got a three health. Uh, if you catch them, so they've all got three health. So the pistol would pretty much instant kill them, and because when you kill a lost with an action, like this... Ooh, only did a two. Uh, when you chain an action, uh, because you can chain the actions, uh... Nope. Oh, there she goes. Oh, I'm making sure... Oh, she's going for the wrong one. There's one right in front of her. Right, okay. Yeah, no, that works, I guess. I just realised you could probably do the same with the before. Reapers, couldn't you? First, See, right, I'll show you right now. So he's got 98% chance on that, I won on that. So if we just go Kablamo, and he can immediately go into another shot. And um, we're going to use the pistol because it saves our thingies. Look at that, instant kill. Snipers, best thing in the, best thing in this game, seriously, I love them. I love him to bits, and he's discovered a group. One, two, three, four. That's not bad. Oh, another thing about the lost that I learned: um, don't use grenades. The lost are kind of well; they are literally a representation of zombies. So you know, like they're all weird and decrepit and yeah. um, and they react to loud noises. So shooting for some reason is perfectly fine, but uh, if you use a grenade, it alerts everything around you, so that's one of them down. Your friends will join you soon. And she's been discovered, but the Reaper has a really cool thing where she can um, go back into cover, I go where you tell me. and they can only do it once, which is a shame. What's it called? Um, Shadow. There we go. But she should be able to, hopefully... Wipe out one more of these guys. Good riddance. Uh, um, mm, yeah, no, because she's moved, so reload would cost the action. I don't know, let's give it a shot. Give, me time give it a reload. Ah, no uh, there we go, that's okay, there's only one left. There is only one left. Here he comes, here comes Speed Racer, he's a demon on wheels. Uh, ah, she missed, damn it. I need to put a laser sight on my uh, rangers. I don't think I've put a laser sight on her, have I? Yet, I have not. Ah, don't worry about it, central. See, I can just do this now. He's within range. Kablamo. 
I do love the ragdoll on this. The ragdoll is absolutely beautiful. Right, let's stick her back in shadow. Um, this is what I like about these Reapers. They're really hard to detect because when they're in shadow in this mod, they're um, oh, there's oh, there's some guys there. The detection range is tiny. So like, whereas these guys have probably got a really big detection range for my other guys. For the Reaper, it's basically a one. Uh, one space out kind of deal, so only one space away. Oh my god, you can actually shoot them. That'd be so hilarious. Um, no. Uh, so yeah, so you, you, you know what I'm trying to say. Um, within the one space range around them, so one forward, one diagonally, all that, all that stuff it is where they can only really be detected. These creatures are Which worse is not bad. And I've, I, by the way, I've got my timer going on this. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to basically just do the Reaper one, and then next time do the Skirmisher one, and then after that do the um, final one because there is a final. There's a th it's basically this is a three part mission. First part is meet the Reapers and get them out. Second part is meet the skirmishers and get them out. The third part is fighting uh, for your survival, basically. Which is not going to be fun. Right, let's get... Yeah, so you can see what I mean. That's, that's the detection kind of thing. So one diagonally, but because it's so close together. Uh, let's get her up like this. Probably do some shots up. Yep, they're going to detect her. There we go. Rawr. Yeah, I'm, I'm, at the minute I'm really having to keep my, um, my uploads down to a minimum. My internet's a bit crappy at the minute. So really low, so like a 20 minute upload, uh, sorry, a 20 minute video to upload takes forever. And it's not good because it sometimes causes things to lag behind and not get uploaded on time. So I think I'm actually just going to do it how I said it. Um, so we'll do, we'll get onto the extraction point, we'll watch the, we'll wait for the next cutscene and then we'll end it there. Yeah, just look at this. Oh, you missed. Oh, you actually missed. I'm disappointed in you. It doesn't matter, we're close enough now, I can reveal them. Yep. The Reapers are really cool as well, they use like a, a it's like a VSS kind of dragon off kind of thing, it's really awesome. No Sadly, they only have three shots with it. My ammunition is almost gone. I can see that. Vulcan yeah, this hello. this video is probably going to be about 15 minutes long, myself. which will take me just over an hour to upload, which is why I'm going to uh, end it once we get to there, which is not going to look... I can just sprint it in a second. Let these guys get close. Technically, the more of these guys we kill, the better. Um, because we game stuff from them. But... Oh, I actually landed the shot, good on you. Uh, but no. Uh, I think it's probably best to do it in a, th in a three parter, therefore, I have stuff to plan through. Plus, it is four o'clock in the morning. Back to me not doing sensible recording again. Yeah, see, look, we're just bring over. Like, who know? We must push forward. Watch my back. And trace. There we go. Everyone's got the extraction point, and that should be it. You should have a clear path through now. Yep. Second squad is already en route to Mox. Proceed to the rendezvous and await Sweet their arrival. Sweet Caroline. Oh. We'll be do, there. Do, do. There we go. And you know what? While the cutscene is playing... Oh, there isn't a cutscene at the minute. There is a cutscene in a second. That's a Templar, by the way. They're really awesome. They are... I want to call them they're almost spy-like because they use pistols and they are... Well, they're not really that stealthy, but... Yeah, they use pistols and some psionic attacks, which is pretty cool. Um, but you know what, it's actually probably best to end it right here real quick. So, thank you for sticking with this stuff. I know a three-part episode is probably not the... Well, probably is the best way to do it, but at the same time not the best way to do it because it cuts down a one mission to three parts. So I do hope, uh, do hope you bear with me for the next time. Uh, but until then, thanks for coming along. You know the drill. Like, share, and subscribe. And... Until the next time while we sit on this loading screen, which is really funky, stay awesome.